welcome back to the class of production engineering and uh, this is the one of the most important lecture of production engineering course and when you start for the production engineering this is going to be the major lecture in that and this slide is the most important slide of production engineering because this slide represents the pressure drop is drops inside this plumbing system or the production system as a production engineer our job is to manage from this area from this area till the survey now what do you mean by the manage manage means you have to design it install it and as well as maintain it now and what what we are getting through this plumbing system we are getting oil gas or water three phases three products are coming towards the surface and what are the parameters that are important the most important here is the pressure now pressure plays a major role because if there is no pressure the oil or gas will not come out to the surface so in order to to produce this oil and gas which is in the reservoir to the surface there should be a pressure and as you know it there should be a pressure differential for example if the pressure will remain same the fluid will not move for example now <clears throat> let's take an example okay let's say we have this body and there is a force there is a force acting on on this side let's say the force is the pressure we are talking about okay now let's say the pressure here is 200 psi the force per unit area is the pressure now what how much is the pressure let's say the pressure here is also 200 psi now my question is there is a pressure from here 200 psi there is a pressure from here 200 psi will this body move or not no no the resultant force is zero both side so in order to for this fluid whatever fluid this is to move to the, to let's say in this direction if you want to move it in this direction there should be a difference in the forces so for example pressure if pressure here is 100 psi okay but now it will move or not it will move right higher the pressure difference the more it will move now let's look at the the situation in this condition now imagine the pressure at this point and pressure at this point if the pressure will be the same it will not move so there should be a pressure differential now where this problem cover comes of pressure differential exactly in the reservoir at this this area there should be a pressure difference in between two points so that it can move and pressure is always declining from the reservoir pressure from the boundary condition this is the boundary of the reservoir from this point to this one but how much is the pressure loss and from this we said that from this is the sand phase flowing pressure which is just outside the perforation and i showed you perforations also it is a bullet be made paste uh, holes that are done to communicate between the reservoir and the casing inside so from the sand phase there is a pwf the flowing bottom hole pressure and then there are restrictions here and here and so we summarize there are six points where pressure can be dropped okay this pr to pwf is not our job to maintain this is the reservoir engineer job to look at this how to maintain this kind of reservoir pressure but from the sand phase to the inside one it is our job it could be because of the perforation it could be because of the formation damage and so on you could do the stimulation techniques or you apply you know acidizing or fracking or so on in order to to have a good pressure difference and good pressure outside here So, sir, we always want the pressure to be positive, right? The difference. Yes. Yes. Okay. It will be positive always. And and but we don't want like 
the pressure to drop that much that here that you know nothing close at the surface for example pressure here is let's say 1000 psi outside here and inside it become let's say 500 psi so no, if the well is deep then this 500 psi may not lift the oil to the surface then you have to do the jet pump and so on so pressure there should be pressure difference but not too much that it to not move at all but there should be a pressure difference now as a production engineer we deal with this pressure difference from sand face flowing pressure to inside flowing water hole pressure okay this is we call it flowing bottom hole pressure the pressure which is inside this tubing string inside this one then there is a pressure drop because of this restriction here it could be any equipment or so on and then we have a safety wall here also it has a, a limited diameter so there is a restriction here and it can cause a pressure drop so this is also a cause of pressure drop and then at the surface of course from this choke line to this mystery and pipeline, there are pressure of series of pressure drops. We as a production engineers, we have to optimize them and minimize those pressure losses. We don't want those pressure losses. So the oil can, from the reservoir, comes to the surface smoothly. As I said, there are two kinds of production engineers. One is office and one is in the, the field or in the plant side. Now the one who is sitting at the plant side, he don't do these kind of things. He just sit, monitors the data, and production history and send it to the office. That's it. This is his job. But the one who is sitting in office, there's not only one person sitting in office. There are it's a complete team. Some of them working on, let's say the this analysis, this production well performance analysis. Somebody may be working on stimulation. Somebody may be working on other areas like completion. So there are different areas everyone is working on. And so it's a complete team there that works on it. Okay. Now, as you see that from the reservoir pressure here, let's say it's 3000 PSI. So from 3000 PSI, the pressure starts dropping due to restrictions and so on to, to here, maybe 100 PSI. So from 3000 PSI to 100 PSI, there is a huge pressure drop in all those ones. So what we can do, we do these nodes, these points, we call them the nodes. We can take this point, probably change the equipment and try to reduce the pressure drops there. Now let's go ahead, we talked about it already. Now, in order to, to know about your production system, what we do, we have, let me make a white board. Just a minute, let me sort out this charging issue. 